Hi friend, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Chef Monty. And today we're going to explore the wonderful world of mixing foods together to create delicious and healthy dishes. Let's go on a food adventure. Los Angeles Unified School District's wellness programs in partnership with KLCS TV and Dairy Council of California present Let's Eat Healthy Together. I want you to imagine if you ate only one food every day for the whole month. How would you feel at the end of the month? Bored, Boring. right? We mix food together because it tastes good and it's good for us. We help our bodies by eating more than one kind of food because different foods have different nutrients. Do you know what a nutrient is? Nutrients is pretty much what you get from food and um Makes, your, makes you stronger and healthier. Nutrients are like different, um, different like stuff you get from food that helps your body work. I'm pretty sure you can get it from food and it makes you healthier and stronger. That's right. Nutrients are the parts of food that help us grow and stay healthy. Each food gives us special nutrients to keep our bodies going, and they all work together like a team of superheroes to do things in our body like give us energy, heal our cuts, build our muscles, and grow our bones. To get the most nutrients, we should try to eat a little from each of the five food groups. Do you remember those? Dairy, vegetables, fruits, grains, and protein! You got it! Now when you eat foods from a mix of all the food groups, you get amazing flavor and powerful nutrients. Now listen, not every meal is gonna have every single food group, and that's okay. Throughout the day or the week, try to eat as many different food groups as you can. And one way to do that is to mix foods. Now, I'm of the belief that if you mix foods to create a dish, you're a chef, even if you're a kid. So, mighty chefs, what foods do you like to mix together and why? I like to mix together broccoli and mac and cheese because I had it once at the at a restaurant and it was really good and I liked it. I like strawberries in my oatmeal because it cools my oatmeal down and also it tastes really good. I like fried eggs with salt and pepper on this. Uh, I, I tried experimenting with it one day, and it tastes good. That's how I eat fried eggs now. I like um, mayonnaise on toast with an egg. I like to mix yogurt and granola together. The reason I like to do that is because I like the texture and the taste of it. It tastes phenomenal. Wow, those are some pretty awesome ideas about how to mix foods to get the flavor and the nutrients your body needs. Now. Here are a few more. This is a delicious crunchy snack of peanut butter and celery. Can you tell me what food groups are on this plate? You're good at this. Protein and vegetables, that's right. Now this colorful beauty is apples and cheese. What food groups are on this plate? Yes! fruits and dairy. Good for you. So this creamy dish is a yummy breakfast or snack. It's yogurt with cereal. I mean, look at how pretty all the layers look, right? What food groups are in this dish? Hey, you nailed it, dairy and grains. I love that because getting to know your food groups is an important first step to eating healthy. Then you can have fun mixing and matching your favorite foods. You know, there are a bazillion different ways to cook yummy food that mixes all five food groups. Let's make an easy recipe together. Now this cool recipe has just two ingredients, okay? Milk and lemon juice. Can you guess what it is? Oh, I see, I knew it was gonna be hard, believe it or not. We are gonna make 
cheese. Yes, a ricotta cheese with this milk and lemon juice. It's gonna be amazing. Now, ricotta is a kind of cheese used in lasagna and other foods. And you may or may not have ever heard of this cheese, but I'm sure that you've tried it. Now, you ready to have some fun? Turning these two ingredients into another super special food? Let's do this. Remember, if you're doing this at home, you need to make sure that you have an adult with you, okay? Don't play. And don't forget to wash your hands. You ready? Okay. I have about four cups of milk here, and we're gonna heat it just until it starts to steam. Do you see the steam? Because I do. And when you start seeing that steam, you're gonna add lemon juice. This is about two and a half to three tablespoons. The lemon juice is acidic, and it's going to curdle the milk, creating little tiny curds that then we are going to strain out of the liquid and it's already happening. Did you see how quick that was? Oh my goodness. It's cheese! I love it! Now this is my favorite part. We're gonna wrap our ricotta cheese in some cheesecloth but first we're gonna strain out the milk. This is a part you really want help with, okay? So don't do it yourself. We're separating the curds from the whey. We're gonna gently just tap, tap, tap to encourage that whey to get out of our cheese. Oh, I wish you were here with me, it smells amazing. Now that most of the liquid has been drained out, we're going to squeeze it and get more liquid out. This is my favorite part. You're gonna take a cheesecloth or a clean dish cloth and we're going to place our ricotta in the middle of this cloth. Then, we're going to take this cloth and we're gonna twist gently. Do you see? Now remember, always with the help of an adult because this is warm. Are you ready for this? Okay. Fresh cheese! You see what we did together? I know! I'm telling you, you're a chef, just like me. I really hope that you get to make this with your family at home because it's easy and amazing. And remember, you're all mighty chefs when you mix foods together. Now for the best part. We're gonna combine our ricotta with other food groups to make a healthy snack. I love this cheese because it's creamy and a little bit tangy, just like yogurt, but it doesn't have a strong flavor, so it's easy to mix with so many other foods. A tasty way to mix ricotta with other foods is to spread it on whole wheat toast and then top it with strawberries. And then give it a little drizzle of honey. Okay. Yes. Can you tell me how many food groups are on this plate? The bread is grain, very good. The cheese is dairy, and the strawberries are fruit. <gasps> My goodness, you are good at this. Now, if you haven't had it before, would you be adventurous and try ricotta cheese? Of course you would. You're a mighty chef. You don't mess around. I love that about you. Now, what would you make with ricotta? Oh, these are amazing ideas. My goodness. We have had a time, haven't we? 
We got to see foods mixed together in delicious ways, and we got to make a very fun recipe. Can you remember what we learned today? What did you learn? Okay, try to fill in the blanks with me. Eat more than blank food to get more nutrients and flavor. Yes, one. More than one food, always. You are a mighty blank when you mix foods together. Yes, you're a mighty chef. To make ricotta cheese, we used blank and blank. I know that was easy. Milk and lemon, you got it. Great job, everybody. This was so much fun. I, I just love sharing food adventures with you. I've said it before and I will say it again. We are all mighty chefs. So be adventurous. And when you're able to, try to prepare a meal or a snack with your family that includes more than one type of food. And if you get the chance to taste a new food, do it. You'll never know what flavors and textures you'll discover until you try. And please, 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 Share your food adventures with me. Send pics and videos of you trying new foods or of your favorite family recipes to healthyeating.org forward slash share. Thank you for going on this amazing adventure with me. Until next time, friends. Bye. Wellness programs support the needs of the whole child by focusing on eight areas of wellness. Watch on demand at healthyeating.org backslash together. Let's eat healthy together.